Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. This video, I'll just be taking you through how to prepare alloy wheels for paintwork. So as you can see here, they've been smashed up against the curb when this uh, vehicle was in the accident. So we're going to have to fix them up. So the first step we took was to take them out the back where we've got our high pressure cleaner. We sprayed them down with a degreaser and then let that sit for about 15 minutes and then we grabbed some uh, white scotch bright which is very uh, fine scotch bright and then we just washed the whole things down I actually got my apprentice he saw walking past just then to, to do that for me so um, now we're preparing the wheel up so I've just got my DA sander and I've put some 180 grit onto it um, you don't really want to go too much coarser than 180 because you'll start uh, sanding into the wheel a little bit too much and going a little bit too deep. Um, so you just uh, sanding, just start sanding those scratches out. Um, if there's any little pieces that are that are too deep, well then you can put a little bit of two pack filler into it. As it turned out on this set of wheels, um, they were actually probably not as bad as what they looked. I ended up being able to sand out most of the imperfections and didn't actually end up having to put any fine filler into the any deeper spots. So give it a first go over, then give it a blow off. I'll re-inspect it, make sure that there isn't anything that I might have missed, which it turns out that there was a couple little spots like that. You couldn't, you can't see it sometimes once you've got the dust on there. So always go and re-inspect. Um, got another little nick in the corner here. Was able to sand out. So sanded that out. And then I've uh, gone over it with some 320 after the 180. And now I'm using a bit of uh, red scotch bright to uh, scuff up the rest of the shiny paint. And now I'm masking it up. I've just decided to do a hard edge across here. Um, you could ultimately do a false edge over there, but um, yeah, I've found for wheels, you don't want to go overloading the product on, um, so two coats is, is not going to be too big of an edge there for, to rub with the primer. So next up, I've mixed the primer up, 4 to 1 ratio with a 2 pack primer, all the masking's done there, and with the, the gun, uh, pretty much always when you're painting wheels, you, you've got to wind the, um, the fluid in. Uh, probably close the fan up a touch too, if you want. Um, so for your first coat, you really just want to just dust it on. You really don't want it on too wet. You can start getting silicon uh, issues and also it will start edge mapping up. So you just the first one's just to start sealing it down. Once that eggshells or once that flashes off, once it's no longer shiny, we can put our second coat on, which I'll put on a little bit heavier than the first one. So that's all you really want for the first coat. And another good thing about that is that it only takes a few minutes to dry. And then our next coat will get it on nice and wet. Uh, two coats, as I said, this is all I'm going to use. It's just to use it to seal seal it down. Um, you could use etch primer if you want. I've found with two pack primers, it's not really necessary. Uh, two pack primers usually bite right into uh, most metals. Um, you could use a etch primer if you wish, just to give it a little bit more adhesion, but it's not necessary. So. Um, as far as the colour goes, I'll give you a quick look at the colour later on, but um, most colours uh, for wheels, you don't actually have colour codes because they're painted at different factories and you're not going to be able to open the bonnet up and find a colour code, so usually you've just got to eye match them, eye match them yourself. So I've left that primer for a few days actually, it turned out it was a couple of days later, I had to I primed them up on the Saturday and came back on the Monday and I'm painting, uh, doing the prep work for painting. So. Um, I'm using 400 here, so we don't want to uh, use anything too coarse um, because you'll because if we've only put two coats of primer on, you'll end up just cutting straight through. Um, so yeah, 400 grit I'm using here, and just just careful. Hold the hold the orbital sander flat most of the time. You don't want to go on edge up too much, or else you'll start uh, rubbing through too much. 
Um, and here's a quick look at our colour. Um, I've just found a bit of silver on the bench, which actually didn't look too bad to it. It then actually looked a little bit, the metallic wasn't coarse enough, so I've come up to our tinting bank, grabbed some 598, which is the extra coarse metallic, dumped a bit of that into it, come back over to the wheel, and um, just had a look on the stick, and I was pretty happy with that. It's, it's pretty hard to pick up on this video how because of the metallics in it, but it was pretty good. So um, now that I've used 400 on the DA, I've come back over and grabbed 500 grit on one of these uh, softback sanding sponges. I'm then going around rubbing down all of those edges that I had from where I masked it up, because if you, if you don't rub them out properly, you'll see a big line once you paint over it. We'll then blow it off and make sure we haven't missed any any edges and you also rub the rest of the the rim inside the edges of the spokes with that same 500 grit soft back sanding sponge so um, I'll be uploading the footage of the paintwork for these separately and I'll be uploading them um, soon so I'll be editing that tonight actually and here's a couple of other vids that you can check out GDI Pro setup for clear and the Sata Jet RP for clear coat. So thanks again for watching and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.